and they know that Perth do have the roster to be a very good contender this year. Travis Blackley wins a pretty good battle versus Tim Kennelly. A few foul balls tipped away, but eventually he just blows one by him. Glenn Denning swings through that one. It's two strikeouts in the first inning for Travis Blackley. Brisbane off to the start they need. We'll be back with the Perth Heat batting next. It's, it's, it's doable, especially when the wind blows out there. Wind blows out and it's a short porch, but he gets him swinging again. That's the third strikeout from Blackley. What would you like about that pit? 2-2 two -two count with two outs. And Travis Blackley's got four strikeouts in two innings. The former big leaguer getting it done in Adelaide. We'll be back after this. Right, something's creates errors in the ball and in the field, so you create an opportunity. Unsworth deals, and there's a strikeout for Unsworth. That's his second of the day. He's going for a changeup now. And he swings through it. The prophet, <laughs> Shane Bennett, as Dylan Unsworth gets his second strikeout of the inning. It's a pitcher's duel in Adelaide. We'll see you on the other side. Well, Sasaki really started to generate those last two runs. That strikeout number five from Blackley. But he generated those last two runs using his legs. Your, your perfect game is not a perfect game with, to me, no pitches. Your perfect game is, in a non-in-ball game, is, you know, basically one pitch per batter, and that's it. Well, a three-pitch strikeout for Dylan Unsworth. That is strikeout number four on the day. Unsworth gets one of the best batters in the league to swing through. It's five strikeouts on the day. Brisbane leave him stranded. We head to the fourth. No score. You know, because that World Series ring is a bit more important than someone's base hit. And here's a swing here for Glenn Denning. This one is back. And Robbie Glenn Denning swings away. It's a two-run shot. And he's left this one out. And Glenn Denning's exploded with a high fastball right there out of the middle of the plate. And he's done exactly what you should do. Exactly what happened to it last night was the one of the weirdest things I've ever seen on the field. Strikeout from Travis Blackley finds the corner. Number six on the day through four. I think Dave's got a plan, and Mark Reed's got a plan. They, they know what they're doing. They're a great franchise. They've, they've got great local talent. They've got everything up there. Well, a strikeout from Blackley once again. That will end it for Perth. It's 2-0. This is anyone's league this year. That was the last time Perth won the very next year. As he swings that again on the changeup, it is strikeout number six. This one chopped into the outfield, trying to lay out his Canelli. Did he make the catch? He did. Tim Canelli, just add another one to your highlight reel. A fantastic play to end the inning, and Perth holds. It's 2 nothing. On base guy, and that's why Dave Nielsen loves this guy. He just gets on base, and he call, he's a nuisance. And he swings at the first pitch. This one heading back to the track, and it is off the wall. Big hit from Nick Kale. He's going to try to slide into second. Does he get there safe? A double from Nick Kale. Gets Brisbane started after a nice defensive play. Brisbane are in business. For the pitches, it really is. It almost feels like spring training. Yep. Makes it an interesting dynamic for managers. But Travis Blackley strikes out his eighth batter of the day. He was an Adelaide Giants player. Former Perth Heat player Liam Hendricks. Was on that list. He just signed a $19 million a year contract with the White Sox. Even a great diving play from Canelli out in the outfield. And now a strikeout on Alex Hall, who had reached both times. The pitching staff has certainly done their job. And a big strikeout to end the inning from Sam Holland. The pitchers do their job. Now the batters need to do theirs. Can Brisbane win it in the bottom of the last? We'll be back. And that's what Glenn Denning does. It's the first pitch. Could this be a double play? They get one. They get two. A timely double play for the Brisbane Bandits. And that makes the operation a little easier. Dermot Fritsch puts one into play. That's going to fall. Is this going to win the game? It's fantastic from Fritsch. And Brisbane walk it off. The young Queenslander defeats the former big leaguer and the bandits are back in the win column.